the children of God, the sons of God, and the Son of God. A hypothesis of Dr. Galen Curra. Our hypothesis consists of three propositions. In the Hebrew Scriptures, sons of God is an epithet applied to created spirit beings, whereas the title Son of God is given to kings of Israel. In the New Testament, Christian believers are called children of God during their life on earth, whereas the title Son of God applies uniquely to Jesus the Messiah. In the coming Messianic Kingdom, Christian believers become the new sons of God, replacing the fallen spirit sons of God. Let us see if the scriptures support our hypothesis. The Sons of God in the Hebrew Scriptures At the time of creation When I laid the foundation of the earth, all the sons of God shouted for joy. Before the great flood the sons of God saw that the daughters of humankind were beautiful. Thus, they took wives for themselves from many they chose. When God scattered the nations. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he divided up humankind, he set the boundaries of the peoples, according to the number of the heavenly assembly. Supervising events on earth. The day came when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also arrived among them. Losing their right to rule. God stands in the assembly of El, in the midst of the gods he renders judgment. I thought, you are gods, all of you are sons of the Most High, yet you will die. The children of God in the New Testament. They believe in Jesus. To all who have received him, those who believe in his name, he has given the right to become God's children. Jesus died for them. Jesus was going to die, to gather together into one, the children of God who were scattered. They receive the Holy Spirit. The Spirit himself bears witness to our spirit, that we are God's children. They are destined for glory. The creation itself will also be set free from the bondage of decay, into the glorious freedom of God's children. God has made them promises. It is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, rather, the children of promise are counted as descendants. They seek to live blamelessly. That you may be blameless and pure, children of God, without blemish, though you live in a crooked and perverse society. God already calls them his children. See what sort of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called God's children, and indeed we are. One day they will become something more. We are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet been revealed. They show their love for God. By this we know that we love the children of God, whenever we love God and obey his commandments. The Son of God in the Hebrew Scriptures God called Israel his son. When Israel was a young man, I loved him like a son, and I summoned my son out of Egypt. God called King Solomon his son. I will make his dynasty permanent. I will become his father, and he will become my son. God called an unnamed Messiah his son. I will announce the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son. The Son of God in the New Testament. God calls Jesus his Son. A voice came from heaven, You are my one dear Son, in you I take great delight. A new believer called Jesus God's Son. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Peter confessed that Jesus is God's Son. Who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ the Son of the living God. Jesus admitted to authorities that he is God's Son. They all said, Are you the Son of God, then? He answered them, You say that I am. Scriptures invite everyone to believe in God's Son, Jesus. 
In this book, these are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in his name. The Sons of God in the New Testament Jesus' disciples will one day be called Sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the Sons of God. When they are rewarded, they will be God's sons. Your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. They will be God's sons at the resurrection. Those who are regarded as worthy to share in that age are sons of God, since they are sons of the resurrection. They have faith in Christ. In Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. They will one day be revealed. All who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. The creation eagerly waits for the revelation of the sons of God. God will call each one of them his son. The one who conquers will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. You who have put your faith in Jesus, the Son of God, you have become God's beloved children, and at the coming resurrection, you will be revealed as the sons of God who rule over the nations.